kids, here we are. It's Christmas Eve. Oh, you guys, shh. Okay, settle. Settle down. We can't settle down. It's Christmas Eve. I know what would help us settle down. Let's do the Christmas story. Yeah, Mom, tell us the story. Well, actually, we were thinking we could do it a little differently this year. We want to tell you the story. So you think you really know it that well? Yeah. You guys read the scriptures and we'll tell the story. Okay. Let's try it. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, presenting the Christmas story, as written and illustrated by us children. We are sheep so far from home, wandering in the world alone. When the night comes, still we roam, waiting for our shepherd to lead us home. Jesus Christ, our shepherd dear, never did plan to leave us here. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. Okay, now, here's the story. Joseph and Mary were from a little town way up in the northern hills of Israel called Nazareth. And because of Caesar's taxes, they had to go all the way down to Bethlehem because that's where Joseph's ancestors were from. It was a long walk. If they'd had a car, it wouldn't have taken them more than about an hour and a half to get there. But as it was, it probably took them about a week to walk that far and under the hot desert sun. Why didn't they have a car? That was 2,000 years ago. They did not have cars back then. I don't even think they had zippers. So anyway, I bet it was a long, hard walk for them. At least Mary had a donkey to ride. Well, yeah, but she was just about to have a baby. When Mom's pregnant, she yells every time Dad goes over a little bump in the car. And, I mean, riding in a car has got to be more comfortable than riding on a donkey. Poor Mary. At least Mary had someone who loved her to take care of her on that long journey. Mary, aren't you tired? Bethlehem was just this little quiet town usually, but by the time Mary and Joseph finally got there, it was more like a big, busy city. People must have come from everywhere. People like Mary and Joseph. Yeah, just like Mary and Joseph. There were so many people, the town had run out of places for new people to stay. Joseph and Mary tried everywhere. Finally, they came to an inn. What's an inn? An inn is kind of like a motel. The guy there told them that he didn't have any more room either. There was no more room for anybody anywhere. There's no room for anything here. We are busy, busy. Our world is much too busy for you. Your wife needs shelter, we see that is true. We really don't know what to tell you to do. Crowded, we're crowded and busy. Mary was so tired. And she had to have that baby. So the innkeeper finally let the little family sleep in his stable. Mary, it's a stable. A nice warm stable. Thank you, Joseph. Mary, can you do this if you are? I can't even think about having a baby in a stable with a bunch of animals. 
but there was straw all around, and I bet it was warm. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger. We had our baby in, in a hospital. Well, Mary had hers in a stable. In a stable dark and sweet Lies the prince of men asleep Though his mother is tired She looks at her boy And her heart is filled with peace Joseph cradles her Gentle cattle love. Quiet shepherds come in and share Joseph's watch. The night is so peaceful and slow. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. I don't know. If you were a shepherd, wouldn't it be hard not to fall asleep at night just sitting there counting your sheep? I don't think any of them fell asleep that night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. There was a whole sky full of angels. One dark night of so long ago, shepherds sat on an empty hillside, far from home and the fires glow, watching the sheep on the hills below. All at once the stars grew dim, a shining multitude stood there. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, 
Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And all the time, Mary and Joseph were just sitting quietly in the stable, holding their new baby. What did they name him? He was Jesus. That little baby was Jesus? Yes, he was. This is the story of how Jesus was born. I thought Jesus was the sacrament. That part comes later. Jesus is everything important. But how did Mary know her baby was Jesus? The angel told her. You know what? I bet Mary wasn't even thinking about that just then. She just had her new baby. I bet Mary and Joseph didn't care about anything else. I bet they were just happy because they loved the baby. I love holding our new baby. I bet that's the way they felt. Little Jesus, I am mother. I will keep you safe and warm. All your life long, I will love you. And I'll keep you safe from harm. Now don't forget Joseph. I'm not your father, that is true, but I'm your dad and I love you. These tiny hands, these tiny feet, my little child, you are so sweet. I'll try the very best I can to show you how to be a Nobody else knew that he was going to turn out to be the Savior someday. Except for the shepherds, don't forget. And the shepherds came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at these things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Okay, you guys, let me explain something. For years and years, the Jewish people had been waiting for the Messiah to come. See, the people weren't free. The Romans had just come in and conquered their country. And the Jews had to do whatever the Romans told them to do, whether they liked it or not. The Jewish people didn't want to be Romans. They just wanted to be Jews and have God as their king. The Messiah was supposed to come someday and make the people free. So the Jews were waiting for somebody powerful and strong to lead an army or something and get the Romans out of there. But their Messiah turned out to be just a little baby. Not even a rich baby. He was born in a stable. Babies are so wonderful. I think the shepherds would have been pretty amazed, but then the angels had warned them. Is this the one? How can it be? Well, that's about the end of the story. Jesus was born like everybody else. A little tiny baby. But he turned out to be Jesus, the most wonderful, unselfish, loving person who ever lived. Did he make the Jewish people free? He makes everybody who listens to him be free. The Good Shepherd knows his sheep by name. Some 
chance one has wandered away. He'll seek and search and never give up until he has found it. His arms safe around it. He'll bring it back home right away. The good shepherd knows his to be gentle like he is. Me too. Me too. He's my big brother. I want to be just like him. In the end, you know, he died for us. Why did he die? Because that was the only way he could get us a chance to go and live with Heavenly Father again. Jesus loves us more than he loves himself, and he gave everything he had so we could go back home. That was so nice. Yeah, he's real nice. And that's why we have Christmas. So we won't forget about his story. So we can remember that being like him is like having Christmas all the time. And giving people presents. And being really happy. Christmas, you guys.